So Cotting School was started in 1893, and it was started by two incredible doctors, Drs. Bradford and Thorndike. What they were looking for were students to have the opportunity to continue their education, but really to educate the whole child. And that's what Cotting has been about for the last 128 years. The new 25,000 square foot Cotting Campus Center is the perfect place for us to continue our mission. It gives our students an opportunity to participate in activities just like they're typically developing peers. So you can just imagine a Friday night at Cotting School. The gym is full of students. Their parents and their siblings are cheering for them. So this new gym, this high school sized gym will be fully adapted for our students. So during the day, Dan Cuddy, our adaptive physical education teacher will be working with our students in adaptive PE classes. Our occupational and physical therapist will use the space during the school day. The place will be full of life. And the space also will have wonderful other opportunities for us. Our annual conference can be used in this space. Who knows what else will be used here, but it gives us a larger space for us to improve fitness, It gives us a larger space to improve school development and really a space for all of our families and all of our students to be together. We're very proud of this new space at Cotting School. One of the showpieces of our new space is going to be our climbing wall. And this is a two-story, fully adaptive, beautifully colored climbing wall. This space is going to be unprecedented in our community because any student at Cotting School and as Dave mentioned, alum and our friends can come and use this space to really test themselves, try new skills, challenge themselves and do something that maybe they never thought that they would be able to do before. Not only is the climbing wall going to be spectacularly beautiful an art piece in and of itself, but it's going to overlook our inner courtyard and garden to sort of give this sense of indoor outdoor space, bright and airy and uh, really kind of incorporating the full building into that space from, from all levels. Imagine, you know, being high up on that climbing wall and looking down into classrooms and into the garden, watching friends in playing lawn games and, and watching them cheer you on as you ascend the climbing wall. Cotting is a place that is built on teamwork and working together to ascend a climbing wall is a, a, a perfect symbol of that. And, and we look forward to that. When we began to look at this new campus center addition, we hired a fine architect, ARC, Architectural Resources of Cambridge. And we went and we found a really great builder in Erlen. And we're very proud to work with both of these people. So as we were developing the building, we ended up finding this incredible inner courtyard. It's space that had been there before, but had never been used in the way it's going to be used. So there will be an inner courtyard open to the sky where our students could come out during the day find a quiet space for a conversation. You can imagine our uh, speech pathologist sitting outside on a wonderful warm spring day on a bench talking with one of our students. You can imagine circle of friends, kids playing cornhole out there on a Friday night. You can imagine our students planting with the indigenous plants that will be there and having these beautiful trees in color year round. And looking back onto classrooms, or looking the other direction, up a hill into the new gym. So New England has this wonderful tradition of candlepin bowling. So we decided that we would develop two candlepin lanes. So again, our students could have some wonderful activities, some real skill development, some teamwork, and really math skills too. Uh, When it was proposed that we had an automatic scoring system here, we said, no, we're a school. Students do math here, so they'll be scoring on their own here. It'll be a wonderful place for our alums, our students, our staff to use. And you can just hear those pins falling and cracking and rolling over. And you could hear the cheers of our students in this wonderful new space. So students could have after school activities here, evening activities. And you can see, you could imagine a, a bowling class and our adaptive PE. We're very proud of this new space. So as we continue to tell you, This space is a space that we envision to bring people together. 
Cotting School is a regional school. We have students from 75 different cities and towns. We have current students, we have alum, and we have students that, that haven't started at Cotting yet. And we continue to just envision this as a space where we can all be together and have fun, practice our social skills, practice our math skills. And our concession stand and our corner store are part of that. Uh, again, using math skills and customer service skills in a real life experience to sell goodies and cotting swag. The other nice thing about our concession stand and corner store spaces are they're really surrounded by some wonderful seating areas. There's a external courtyard on the second floor that peeks out over the courtyard. There's spaces to sit and watch folks on the climbing wall or to peek in at the fully glass windows and watch the game going on in a little quieter setting, maybe having a soft drink or a, a cookie while they're catching up with old friends. So we are really excited about some of these you know, kind of more open social spaces. All of these spaces really tie together around all the social aspects that the concession stand and the corner store all have where students can practice using their work skills, but also just catching up with friends and, and selling that cotton gear to everybody. The fine arts and performing arts classrooms are going to be real showpieces. All the classrooms at Cotting School are big open airy spaces, but these two new classrooms will be really uh, showstoppers. We've worked with the fine arts teacher and the performing arts teacher to think about, you know, what are the unique things that their classrooms need to have to be really functional. And we really tried to build those in bigger sinks for art classes, the kiln area, so that they can throw pottery and fire it and, and bring home some beautiful ceramic pieces. A built-in green screen where our performing art studio students can create amazing movies and performances that they can share with the whole Cotting School community. We also thought about the space, the location of these classrooms and, and have considered them in, in this new building area so that they also can be used on the weekends after school to expand the way that we offer some of our arts programming for students and alumni to continue to enrich their lives and, and continue to make cutting a uh, center of excellence that draws people to us to learn with us and have fun with us. You know, as Bridget shared, Cotting really is a center of excellence. One of the things that I've loved about watching our students over the years is how they treat each other with exquisite kindness. It's what you see every day in the halls and in the classrooms of Cotting School. I've often used the term describing our students is that they're tough and tender. There's a tenaciousness about our students. They work hard every day and we never forget that. But there's also this tenderness that I talked about, this exquisite kindness in how they treat each other. You'll see on the wall when the gym is done, the motto, once a falcon, always a falcon. That's Cotting School. We consider our students always part of us. So this new gym is not only for the students of today, but it's for the students who will come for us for generations to come, but it's also for our alums as well. I wanna take a moment to thank our donors. We have people who have been incredibly generous to us. This $10 million capital campaign was a big deal for us. We had not done a campaign in 30 years and we wanted to do it right. We are just about at the finish line of this campaign and we wanna thank our donors for helping us get to this point and for helping us get over the finish line. You are helping to create something that'll be something special for students for generations to come. So on behalf of our students, our staff, our trustees, I wanna thank you for your incredible generosity.